Hello, my friends. Welcome to Thoughts for Thursday with Pastor Bryson. I want to send a special birthday shout out to my, uh, my brother, Brother Alexander. Uh, and so God bless you. Have a happy birthday today. We also want to remind you that our services are going to be uh, Facebook live streamed uh, and they will be on Sunday mornings at 10 and then Sunday evenings at 5 p.m. And so make sure you tune into those. We're going to be talking about that a little bit today. And then Wednesday evenings, as you saw last night, hopefully, uh, we'll continue our study in the book of Romans. Uh, we'll only be posting that uh, as a recording to YouTube and then also we'll share it to Facebook uh, this just allows people to go back and to uh, not try to catch all the notes there in real time, uh, like in church, without it being recorded that way. Uh, and I can go back and uh, edit and do what I need to do just to make sure that you're able to take your notes out, uh, your Bibles out and study along. I really want to. I don't want to just be having church just to say we're having church. I want you to really be getting edified, to be getting fed, to be getting something uh, out of those studies. So uh, with that being said, a uh, special announcement to all those who are ABC family that don't know. Um, we said this on the uh, video last night, but I want to just let you know that we are not going to move forward with the building we have been renting uh, because of the uncertainty of the times and we don't know what's going to go on with the economy and these things. Uh, we just feel it's not the right time to go forward with that uh, for the price and the things that come with that. And so we're going to just uh, wait on the Lord and trust him, not discouraged, not disappointed. We are just uh, we're encouraged, if anything, that uh, God has seen you be faithful with tithes and offerings and has seen uh, the church bond together in this period of time. And we are going to uh, be fine. OK, and so God knows what he's doing, even when we don't. Uh, and we just trust him and we obey. And so we're going to talk about that just a little bit today about uh, <clears throat> holding fast, about holding fast. And I'm going to use verses that are going to seem uh, very different for us today as we are un unable to meet. But remember that church, that the Ecclesia uh, is a called out congregation. And so a church is a called out assembly or body of believers and specifically uh, the local church, our local church, church, Assurance Baptist Church, we are called out, we are saved, we're sanctified, called from our cities, from our homes. We have folks uh, from Troy, from Tip City, from Union, from Huber Heights, from Dayton, from Clayton, from Inglewood, uh, from uh, Springfield, uh, from Wilmington. We have people that are um, all over the place uh, that come and meet at Assurance Baptist Church, and, and that's a called out assembly that brings us together. And so we are supposed to meet. And so the Bible tells us, and, and pastors, we're good about this. We harp on it. One of the reasons why uh, I personally don't do a live stream is because I want to see your face. I want to shake your hand. I want to hug you. And all those things are out right now. But I want to know that we're going to get back to that. We are going to get back to that at some point. We will be meeting again. And I don't know how long uh, we can go without meeting uh, to where we just have to go back as the church and say, we're going to be together, right? And so the Bible says here in Hebrews 10, 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much more as you see the day approaching. The day uh, we're speaking of here uh, would be the Lord's return. And so <clears throat> I believe that this is the rapture as well, uh, not just the second advent of Christ, which comes after the tribulation and the millennial uh, during the millennial kingdom. But uh, this word here for forsaking means uh, don't desert or abandon your assembling uh, of the church. Don't desert one another. Don't abandon one another. And so I would say, even though we can't meet together physically right now, we have opportunity to not desert one another, to stay in firm, to hold fast. Now, the Bible tells us in verse 23 of Hebrews 10, let us hold fast the profession of our hope without wavering, for he is faithful, that promise. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Don't doubt, don't have any hesitation that Jesus is who he says that he is. Don't turn back here. They're specifically uh, talking to the Hebrew people, not turning back to Judaism. But I would say to all of our folks out there, don't turn back uh, to, to the world. Don't turn back to things of the world. Stay focused 
on Christ. Stay focused on these things and don't forsake uh, the assembling. And so when we have Facebook Live, when we have these devotions for Thoughts for Thursday, when we have uh, Wednesday evening Bible studies, make sure you have your Bibles out, your, your pen or your pencil out, and make sure you are taking notes and gather. Gather the whole family. Treat it as if you are in the presence of everyone else because you are in the presence of God. Don't uh, change that. Don't skip a service. Don't miss a service. I, I fear that if we do that, then we'll get so used to having church in our pajamas with our coffee maker right beside us and uh, our kids and I have to get up and get ready and go in that this will become comfortable. And that is not what a church is. That is not how church works. And so, yes, we are the church. And I understand that. And I understand that the body, that the building was never the church. But there is a place in the Bible where it says that we are to be called out and we are to assemble physically. Uh, every good pastor I know always tells their, their people, no, you can't sit at home and just get this on the radio or just get this through the internet. You need to come and physically participate in the tithes and offerings and the shaking of hands and the singing of songs and the loving and kissing uh, one another on the cheek with the uh, holy brethren and uh, doing these things as, as an assembly. And so I want to make sure that we keep that in our minds and our thoughts. Okay, and so God bless you on this Thursday. We will uh, be back live Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, I pray that you'll stay safe and God bless you.